Okay, so where we left off, um, we created a um, simple shooting game where I can move this back and forth and um, hit bricks with a projectile. But there's no scoring, and um, the bricks just fly back. And I think I'd like to make it so that they would disappear, and also the projectile disappear. So we can add a few things to do that. So first off, let's make sure that if we hit the brick, it'll know that there is a collision and that um, something should happen. So to do that, we can identify what things are targets or what should be hit by adding a tag. To do that, I'm going to click on my brick prefab. And if you go over in the inspector, notice there's a thing that says tagged, currently is untagged. Now there are some built-in ones, but I can go ahead and add a custom tag and I'm gonna go ahead and add one. I'm gonna call it target and hit save. So now I have a target, okay? So now I'm gonna go back over to my brick and I can assign target as my tag. So now I can check to see if something hits my brick, if it has a tag called target, we can do something. Now the other thing I need to do is set my bricks collider to be a trigger by the way that I'm going to show you how to do this. Now if we go over here, this brick has a box collider and all we have to do is click on this is trigger. Now something odd happens, this will make it so that it will not um, uh, kind of bump into each other. So like for instance, it'll actually fall through the floor if I just leave it like this. So if I hit play, the bricks that I create fall through the floor because it's not using physics as like a, a blocker, it's using it as a trigger with the, the collider. So a couple of things I could do to change this, I could um, go here in the rigid body, I could um, uncheck use gravity, or I could um, uh, add simply add an additional box collider. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here and add a box collider, and then that will have one collider be the trigger, one will handle making sure it doesn't run into like go through anything. All right, so now my brick has a tag, um, has a trigger, and an additional box collider so it, it doesn't fall. Okay, so now what I want to do is add a, a script to my projectiles prefab, which is the sphere, to check for that collision. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new C sharp script. And I'm going to go ahead and call that bullet controller. Okay, I'm going to go into that. And inside of here, this is going to be a simple um, script. Um, all I'm going to be doing is checking to see if it collides with the trigger. And if so, it should do something. So I'm going to go void um, on trigger, enter. And notice it automatically puts in the collider as the um, uh, parameter that would go in. So it's checking for the collider and if it's a trigger. So if um, my other game object has a, a tag, so I'm using compare tag, and what I do is I just type the name of the tag here. Mine was target. So if the other game object that it hits has a tag called target, I want to destroy um, the other game object. Okay, so it'll destroy the um, brick. And I think I want to destroy the bullet too. So that'll destroy itself. So this will destroy brick, and this will. destroy the projectile. All right, so I'm going to save this and um, assign this script to my projectile. So here's my bullet controller. I'm going to drag that over to my sphere. So if I click on it, it should show me that I have a script. Oops, I must have done that twice. I'm going to remove one of them. So I have one bullet controller. And then let's try that out. So when I hit it, it should notice it's now making the um, uh, brick disappear if it hits it. Notice the top one, in some cases it 
flies off. In some cases, it falls. All right, so next step would be to get some scoring. I think it would make sense to get the um, uh, UI made, and then we can connect up to it. So what I'm going to do is in my scene, I'm going to go ahead and say create UI text. Now the weird thing with this is that um, with Unity, it's a little difficult to, to work with the UI. Um, uh, it doesn't quite sync up with the 3D stuff. So I think the easiest thing to do is click over into 2D. And then if I just double click on the canvas, it'll bring that into play. I'm going to zoom in here. And notice this text is actually created way down here. If I were creating Unity, I think I'd probably have everything centered, but this is just how it happens to be. So I'm going to go ahead and move my, um, my text to where I'd like it. I'm just going to go up in this corner. I think black text is going to be fine, but I do want it to probably just start with zero and be a bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make it a larger number. And um, notice it disappeared. So what I'm going to do is uh, also make this so it can handle the larger number. OK, so there's our text. That should be fine. I'm going to pop back out of 2D and uh, zoom back in in my capsule. That should be fine. All right, so now what I want to do is change my script to um, keep track of a score and then also um, uh, update the screen. So to do that, I'm going to be doing that in my game controller where I have my bricks set up. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and make a variable that will hold the score. I am making it a static uh, variable so that I can access it from another script. So I'm actually going to be accessing it from my bullet script. I'm also um, going to be making my, my public text um, score display. Okay. Now, before I started this video, I actually added this directive using UnityEngine.UI. That is not automatically there. So if you go ahead and type this, notice it's going to have a problem with text. It doesn't quite know what that is unless you have that directive up top. So if uh, um, engine, if I do that, then it recognizes the uh, UI elements. If you forget to do that, it's got the little underline, and you can look at possible fixes. All right, so I've got that. And then what I want to do is be able to update this score. Um, kind of a maybe not the best way to do it, but it's an easy way to do it. Um, I'm going to just put it in update to constantly just make sure that that score on the screen matches the score variable. OK, and all I'm going to do is say score display dot text score display is referring to my text object. Text is, will control the text inside of it. And what I want to do is put um, the value of score in there. Now I can't just put score directly because this is an integer and this is a string. So what I need to do is convert it to string for it to work. So it'll take score, it'll make it a string, and then it'll put it in the text. Okay, so that should do it for my game controller. Um, and then over in my um, bullet controller, I need one more line. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is when I hit an object that's a target, I want to add one to the score. And I'm doing it, even though I think it works after, I'm actually putting this in before my destroy uh, lines so that I know that it's actually adding before it destroys itself. So I'm typing the script that it's in dot score. Because it's static, it's letting me access it. Now what I want to do is increment it. So a shortcut to that is just doing plus plus. And so that is adding one to my score. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then back in Unity, there's one more thing I need to do for this to work. So over on my, um, I've got my game controller and my game script here. Notice over on the script it says score display, and it says none. 
That means it doesn't know what text I'm talking about. And if I run it, it'll give me a little error. So what I want to do is drag this text over to my score display. Now if I hit play, hopefully this will all work out fine. And score starts at zero. And notice each time I hit a brick, it disappears and it adds to the score. Now, of course, the, the bricks on the top, no guarantees that they'll stick around that you could hit them, but like this one, I should be able to. Um, but the others might fly away. So that's how you can add scoring and check collisions to this simple target shooting game.